All right, welcome back. Uh, so we've got things kind of looking better with the HTML. We've got a lot done with sign in, uh, but I think it's time we started talking about data, right? To be honest, whenever I make an app idea, like in my head, the first thing I actually think about is the data. How am I going to structure the data? What's my schema going to be? Uh, how's it going to like be formatted? Let's look at the, the solution one really quick, uh, just to kind of like think about the data. So um, obviously there's a message body uh, for the post. Um, and so that's one piece of the data uh, that's going through here. The other piece of the data is, is who is the author? So really there's kind of like two separate things, right? So you have to save off um, an object for the author. Uh, and then you also have to save off an object for each post. Now each post should not, the, the post should not say like Dave Fisher and have the, the post your, or the photo your own. The post should have a reference to the, the single author object. So like if I've got uh, many posts by one author, I only want one author object, uh, but of course many, many post objects. If we look at that in uh, Firebase, I'm kind of like showing you my, my solution here, is I've got two types of objects. I've got author objects and I've got post objects. I've got all my author objects saved in the author's path. Uh, so you can see here that here's what the authors look like. Uh, so authors get a, a UID, so they've got some UID here, uh, and then they've got a display name and a photo URL. Those are the two pieces of information you needed from the author. And then the post have um, which author made it. <laughs> sure enough, my example here was a fake UID. Uh, fake UID is, is a person, right? So he's a person right here. He's Mr. Fake. Um, so my post have an author key, uh, and then also that message body. Um, and you can call that message body, whatever you want to call it, right? So that's kind of my uh, data scheme. And this is actually the first time we've ever done this trick right here, which is saving off um, a key to reference something else. Um, and we'll kind of show how this all plays out. But this is a very common thing to do uh, in relational databases, is to reference other people's keys um, so that you don't have to save the whole object here. You just save a reference to them. And then there's only one of them that everybody points to. All right, so that's our goal. Um, and so what I want to do to start with is I want to start by making some classes uh, in my TypeScript that kind of represent these objects over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the same way that I kind of like to organize like my services together, um, I kind of like to organize my, my model objects, right? So I'm just going to make a, a folder here called models. I'm going to make a couple different model objects. To be honest, they're pretty easy to type, uh, but it's also pretty easy to use ngg generate. Um, so you can do it an ngg generate for a class as well. So we're going to go ahead and ngg some classes. So what I want to do here is I want to make sure I'm in the right folder. That's what totally burnt me last time. So now I'm in the models folder, and I'm going to ngg a class called Firebase flat snapshot, uh, and that's something we did before um, where anything that's a Firebase object is going to have a dollar key on it, and so we're just going to kind of collect that into a super class. Uh, and then we're going to also have a class for authors, so we're going to have an author model object. Uh, and then we're going to have a class for a post. Uh, so Firebase flat snapshot, an author, and a post. And it created the files for us. And now, interestingly, with model objects, you don't have to do anything in the app module. So they're not like components. Uh, we're just going to kind of like do things inside this area. So a Firebase flat snapshot, uh, it's got a dollar key on it, uh, which is a string. It's also going to have a constructor, uh, which receives uh, potentially an object, which conforms to, to any, any object. And if that um, if there's an object and that object has a dot dollar key, uh, then we're going to put it on uh, to this right obj dot dollar key. Uh, this is identical uh, to what we did in Password Keeper, so kind of entirely boilerplate uh, to how I like to set up my classes. And as we've mentioned many times in Password Keeper, um, you could just use interfaces for all of this stuff. Um, I kind of like to make classes. I feel like it makes it a little bit more self-contained. 
and you could potentially add methods if you needed to do that, although you do have to be careful about it because when you get them from Firebase, they're just snapshots. And you have to convert them into this class. So um, everything that might come from Firebase might have a key, uh, so it's going to look like this. Uh, next up, let's do, it doesn't even matter the order, let's do authors next, right? So authors are going to extend um, a Firebase flat snapshot. Um, and again, there's nothing special about that word. It's just kind of my, my made up word uh, that, that tells me that this is kind of something I made. It kind of sounds hokey enough that it's something I made, Firebase flat snapshot. Uh, and what it's gonna have is it's gonna have a public uh, display name. By the way, I'm proud of, kind of proud of myself. I've been using Firebase flat snapshots for a lot of years, and then when they came out with Angular Fire 2, um, the snapshots were actually flattened as well. So it kind of works out well that with Angular Fire 2, um, they, they come to you flattened, where the key and the value are all smushed together. So I just thought that was kind of funny. I felt like I was ahead of the game. Uh, all right, I digress there. So an author has a display name and a photo URL. Uh, it's also got a constructor, uh, which could receive an object potentially. So an OBJ question uh, mark, that's an any object. And the first thing you wanna do is you wanna pass along the super, uh, and then you wanna set the fields uh, that, are, that are shown here. So uh, set the display name if there's an object, uh, and uh, that object has a display name. Uh, then by all means we'll use it, uh, and if it doesn't, we'll just use the empty string. Uh, so a lot of boilerplate code here for how I like to do my classes, uh, and same with photo URL. So pretty easy class there uh, for an author. Uh, now I can you know represent an author uh, in my TypeScript code. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mega cheat here, uh, and for a post it's going to have a lot of similarities, right? So it's going to be a post. Uh, and a post is going to have an author key, uh, which is really just a string, so it just points to some key in Firebase. Uh, I suppose I had to spell the word author with an O. Uh, and it's also going to have a, a message body. So you can call it message, you can call it text, uh, you can call it, I'm going to call it body here. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and do the same tricks I did last time. So you pass in an object and it's got an author key, use it. Uh, otherwise, use an empty field, uh, and if you've got a body, use that, um, and if not, use the empty field. So that's just kind of some of the, the placeholder work uh, for how I want to design my data uh, with a flat snapshot, um, an author object, uh, and then a post object. Um, and you can see how these kind of come together. So this is uh, my data model schema. Really, they're my data model object classes, but I like the word schema, so I'll say it instead. Uh, cool, so we could go ahead and do some things with them, but I think that that's different enough that we'll make it into a separate video. So we'll cut this one off here, uh, and we've got some of our model object classes ready. See you next time. Bye. <music>